Professor Lord Mensa, a senior uh, lecturer at the University of Ghana Business School. Prof, good morning. Uh, good morning, Sammy. I have two phone numbers, so I'm not watching. But you're not a penalty. I'm going to be out of the world. I'm going to be out of the world. I'm going to take care of the time you're going to come home. Uh, prof, you're a good man. I never be a price now for the other. I don't know what you're doing, but I don't know what <laughs> Prof, I'm into a reaction to uh, the response by the finance ministry to uh, the Bloomberg report that I believe you've read, and then the Fitch rating uh, yeah, the Yakoto uh, yeah, B minus. No, I think uh, uh, the response was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It was unnecessary in a sense that it has rather come to create more chaos in the minds of the potential investor mm. because. Um, which a uh, credible rating agency, and at the same time, so your friend is saying Bloomberg when it comes to financial information dissemination. I mean, they have a history to that, mm. it is almost the information about thing which the investor is feeding on. The investor knows very well that he cannot have access to the finance minister's information because the finance minister. And his economic team takes, you know, a hard decision on the economy in the boardroom or whatever strong room they find themselves. But then the tickling down effect of whatever, you know, um, they decide on in their mm. strong room is what reflects in the economy. Mm. So if Fitch and then uh, Bloomberg has come up with it, they have a third party information, which is a complete reflection of whatever decision you have been taking all these years on the economy and they are telling you that the future is not good they are telling you that you are being downgraded to a b minus i think the investor you know uh, will rely on that information than what you bring from your strong room and your boardroom to tell Ghanaians that or to tell the outside investor that the economy is doing well if the economy is doing well why are we not getting the trickling down effect Mm. As we have indicated in our what is debt to GDP, our expenditure, uh, what we call it, uh, privatizations, and then the possibility of enhancing revenue, all the policies that government, you know, aligned, outlined in the what we call it, um, at the, uh, your budget, yeah, they call this year, mm. it's a policy now, our person did give a uh, shikari, you know, they are falling, more or less falling on rocks. Mm. Because now share your friend is a yellow issue yeah. It's not hanging. Now share your friend is a uh, benchmark reverser issues yeah. It's not hanging. Mm. And my position has been clear. You cannot raise revenue from where you've not shown. That is how it's supposed to be. Because all these years, you know, government attempt to bring the economy to the private sector, to bring the economy to individuals, is that many will know? It's not there. Mm. If all these years, say to me, I go up and down. Now you have back. Now say be on me. So I have no problem. I pay you more. That's the cash you put on. Now me go here. You have friends. I'm mum. I come out with my people. I'm crazy. Now we team is trying to get in. I'm in. I'm crazy. I'm not making a I mean, I won't complain. So say be on me. Me me now. Me go here. So now go here. Me now so now go here. No ye. Now I am um, a coffee up and down. I'm in touch shops every day. I'm facing my car. Now I say, what's the over to me, tax? I mean, me complaining because we don't have a quantity. Yes, that's kind of a bit touch shops. No, what in a tax? I mean, I'll be happy. Mm. You know, at the end of the day, businessman, so it's to me, sorry, now I'll share the future of his business. No, who's there? The economy is expanding. People are, are demanding his product on the market. No, office or cop bank. No, because this guy, not the best show, a human animal cannot, the human of course, right? Um, so if you hold till the tax, you'll be happy. What do you say? But, according to the, um, the government never ran it, show them, that they are misplaced the economic agents of every economy into three. Okay. One, are your government. Two, are your businesses. And three, are your anchor and crown. The economy never ran it, uh, yeah, I'm going to say, yeah, uh, uh, what we call it, um, private sector. They determine the end of 
every economic performance. Mm -hmm. Because uh, government, you know, LA foundation, government need lay platforms, not to the provision of rules, healthcare, any other day, they are more. It has a point that those amenities provision should reflect in the private man's activity. They should reflect in the, uh, what we call it, um, 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 the uh, individual um, activity, households, um, finances, uh, as we, we speak. Mm. It is a poor running economy now for some time. Then there be a government, the running show, you can see the government, the good government, the way, government, the way, government, the way. It will be able to be a citizen, you know, she can almost be a open your resistance. And that is what is happening in this country. It is all this world, and they can say, government should do its best to bring the economy to the doorstep of Ghanaians, you know. Then, yeah, and your bad call. It was a good call. Just mm. to tell you that you have to show where you want to reap. Because you see, a government the back citizens or not say, maybe you will tax you here. Open the citizens, mm -hmm. why? Because we need to manage. Because uh, the situation on the grounds, you know, office there, uh, open tennis car, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, more. Because already, you know, uh, you know um, kind of economic ambience to, you know, to improve his life. Now, the can't do the can't do it. No, you won't do, you won't do it. And, you know, um, so I am glad to hear by the the finance minister coming to tell us that uh, these are the numbers, these are the foundations they have laid and all those, no. Um, you might lay the foundation, but it's not hung in the air and drop for you. It's in the company, sir. Um, say, are we done great here? And say, um, and this is all about one day. Now, we can't. Then, we know. I was on TSSM. So, they're on great way, no. And a transition. Because, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to happen, no. It has great big transition probability. Okay. Uh, countries go through all this downgrade and then sometimes upgrade, downgrade, upgrade. And then normally, you don't get more downgrades over a period. If you get more downgrades over a period, then it tells you that your economy is about to crash. Mm. It is over. Being in this situation, you know, it has, it has a call telling you that, hey, sit up. I mean, you have to rearrange your policies. Make sure that you are able to raise more revenue. Make sure that once you are raising more revenue, your expenditure should be revenue-driven expenditure. Mm. So, at the end of the day, you know, the whole Spanish car, when we say, the business can have a bit of feed into revenue generation. Then the American say, I hope your budget that expenditure revenue. Expenditure mm. is an input. Yeah, 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 put that, you know, I am a religion. But the system you are running, and if you are running a system, you have input and output. The okay. expenditure is your input. It is a whole input. Now, revenue, which is your output, no, is reflecting the expenditure. When you slow down, that is how it's supposed to be. Mm. It, you know, uh, is there. Uh, you keep on spending, 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 but the output is not reflected. That's the whole spending. Um, you are not being efficient because the measure efficiency here. You use output and input to measure efficiency. It is to me, you know, the uh, FCA, um, finance minister, um, he was quick to respond. I mean, for me, I wouldn't have respond because it has created more chaos in the sense that the investor, would, if the investor don't tra doesn't trust, you know, you the finance minister here compared to those credible, I mean, um, global icons um, like uh, what do you call it? Bloomberg financial icons like Bloomberg and then the um, what do you call it? Um, 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 how do they call them? Fitch. Mm. Uh, you know, um, on to me in case, um, numbers me. No, I mean, nobody's going to accept that. Um, oh, this is more conflicted. Oh, oh, the fact is that oh, investment, investment does not move to areas that are more conflicted. Mm. Because I'm uh, making numbers with GDP, with that way. And I will call Minister of Finance, I'll be a different number. Mm. I will call Betty Wood institutions, so they will give you different numbers. I'm okay. telling you, as I speak to you now. Mm. And you know, um, effectively, you know, um, what, what is our normal with Bob it creates more chaos because me, as an investor, you know, I would like to have several numbers for one particular parameter. It's, it's a form of uncertainty. It's interesting, sir, Prof. Okase, the response is, is unnecessary, considering, sir, 
in your line of work as finance folks and economists, numbers are important. And so, so be a project to say, in fact, Ghana and debt to GDP is around 83 point something percent. And I say, it's not around that figure. The, that difference in terms of the variation um, has an impact on Ghana in terms of our outlook to, and yet one more, you bet me know my business transactions. And, uh, yeah, it does. Because, I mean, if you are putting out varying numbers for your debt and for your um, uh, economic indicators, mm. it gives you the signal about the credibility of the numbers that are coming out. So, the limit of container, it may seek a share, Ghana, and as we are Ghana, Ghana, me investment. I said, now, sadly, we know our numbers here, but I did tell you, I did tell you, it's very, very uncertain. Mm. So, it will help me to make informed decisions. It is a new baby, I'm a numbers near consistent. And then, maybe, 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 she can't be called, now, maybe, acquire me investment. I let me say, I mean, the country is so chaotic. Look, mm. if you look at our tax policies, the way we, we place the handles, and they say they in every budget to be had, there's a tax handle in it hitting a particular sector. Mm. It is a way you invest the um, You be careful because you don't know um, where I'm saying, I'm not going to tax better the next mm. time. It is a way you now need to say, ah, and then come in this country, but a six month, and as a one year time, investment, the best that you are mature, and in three years time, Investment in the bit of material. Who goes there? The tax up to the They have a plan for their tax policies. Even to the extent of some of them that were captured in textbooks, corporate tax has remained the same level all these years in America and other places. It gives the investor confidence. It gives the investor some kind of certainty when it comes to after tax returns. So what you say? Um, a company say na that they are changing, changing no money at the way to, money at the way to. I mean, for political reasons, for political gains, that I mean, I'm more mine. When you na ya kamu wa seni you na ano, apani the impact on your ability to grow as we mind from the situation we know anything. Well, as Ghanaians know, I think that um, for now this downgrade has come, and I believe, I believe strongly that um, this degraded, uh, degraded and then negative outlook no, has mm. to do with the government's power to implement some of the revenue enhanced you know, uh, policies that were rolled out in the budget. Mm. Clearly, you could see that all this, this uh, revenue enhanced uh, we know, are caught by the um, annual day. Mm -hmm. The best for the government now is to because of, you know, this hanging parliament, you know, which normally happens. I mean, it's part of the economic dynamic. You cannot dissociate politics from, you know, economics. Mm -hmm. Because the policy maker is the one in the parliament. And then the same ministers coming out of, out, out of parliament. Yeah, yeah. So, effectively, you know, um, I think that for now, the government should be bold enough. I know, I've, I've always been saying this, that it's not going to be politically wise. But economically, it will be wise to prioritize your expenditure. I'm not saying don't, don't spend, but when you are spending, it should be a revenue enhanced expenditure, not necessarily throwing out money in the economy without, you know, targeting efficient sectors within the economy. Mm. Prof, I'm not paying for it. Sir, what you're doing now, you're doing more. I will happy morning. She's a professor, Lord Mensa, a economist, a senior lecturer, and so with the University of Ghana Business School. You're doing the thoughts. I will a year. The response from the uh, yeah, finance minister on work as it was unnecessary. Like and subscribe and click on the notification. Happy FM, Nimdie, Happy FM, and Nijekwa.